All right. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, take a minute and read my title, please, because it's not a typo. Officially, China banned time travel. Now, what does this mean? It doesn't mean that we can't go back and kill baby Hitler. No, it means something slightly worse, in my opinion. It means that my favorite movie, Back to the Future, was never and will never be released in China. It will never be released in theaters, not Blu-ray CD. What? And it's such a great story, but why, why is it banned? Just because it had time travel, and time travel is considered a taboo in China. Let me take a step back. Taboo are defined as prohibition of ideas or actions that are considered as too dangerous or too blasphemous. It differs from place to place, country to country, region to region, and it's formed and shaped by those places. <clears throat> so to give you a few examples of taboos, I'll just show you a few movies that are banned in some countries. First one, Deadpool. I'm sure you already all, you all know about Deadpool. It's profanity and excessive violence. Because of that, it was banned in some countries, like this one. And then there are movies with less uh, common taboos, such as 300. It was banned in Iran because it contained negative portrayal of Persian people and Persian empire and Persian military. And then there is Wonder Woman, which was banned in Lebanon. But why? What's wrong with Wonder Woman? It's a superhero film. Is it because Lebanon is a diehard Marvel fan? No, because the lead actress, Gal Gadot, served in the Israeli military for two years. And because of the relationship between the two countries, this became a taboo. And the movie was subsequently banned because of it. So, back to China. Why was time travel banned? To understand this, you must know a little bit more about Chinese culture and more about, and especially this guy, Confucius. I'm sure you, already know, you all know who he is. His teachings, his ideology, his philosophy is held by many, many Chinese people. His influences can be seen in, directly in the Chinese laws for what's allowed and not allowed to be on films. Out of these 10 laws, these 10 rules, eight of them are a direct result from his teachings. So I'll begin with his most famous and most influential one, his idea of social harmony, or his advocate for how we should achieve social harmony, how we should try to achieve a harmonious society, or as he called it, 和谐社会. <clears throat> so because of this, ideas or actions that violates it are often considered taboo, and movies containing them are therefore banned. To illustrate this, let me tell you about a few movies that are banned because of it. Uh, Ghostbuster, both the original and the remake, was banned in China because it contained these things. If you're thinking of ghosts, you're correct, but also these things, which are weird ghost-like things. Because of these supernatural beings, the movie was banned. Now, why is supernatural elements in movies a taboo in China? It's because in the past, China struggled with superstition, struggled with cult, struggled with them, because they caused a lot of trouble. They disturbed the social harmony that the government tries to, to maintain, tried to create. Most notably, in the late 1990s, when, the, when there was a surge in China, most notably, Falun Gong. And it led to a lot of social discourse. And when China cracked down on those things, it led to even more trouble. So in order to maintain and create the social harmony that Confucius taught them to, they decided to ban anything that's not rooted in Chinese folklore or rooted in science. They considered them as superstition, as co-promotion material. And anything, any movies, TV shows containing them are, as a con in consequence, <coughs> in result, as a result, are banned because of it. Another one, Avatar. Avatar was banned after it got released. But why? Is it because the people were blue skin? Is it because it's not sciencey enough for Chinese government? Any guesses? It's because of its theme of rebellion and theme of revolution. The theme of rebellion, the theme of revolution, is a direct violation of, goes direct, <coughs> counters the ideology of Confucius. <coughs> it goes against the social harmony that he advocates. And because of the wide success of the movie, and because how the movie showed that by revolting, by rebelling, there was a happier, there was a happy ending, Chinese government feared that there might be an actual revolt among the Chinese people. And, <clears throat> as a, and therefore, they banned the movie and banned, <clears throat> and made things like the theme of taboo, the theme of rebellion, the theme of revolution, a taboo. The Departed. The Departed is a 
another movie that was banned in China. Not because, it's a, not because of the violence, but because of the line in the movie that suggests that China might nuke Taiwan. Now, I don't have to talk about why that's a hot button issue, because the tense relationship between the two is already obvious enough. And so because of that, such ideas that would provoke political instability would, <clears throat> would be considered a taboo because it goes against the social harmony that Confucius advocates. And because of it, the movie, or any movie containing such ideas, are banned because of it. Now, Confucius had more than just one idea. And he's and his also pretty famous for his second idea, for his second emphasis, which is the idea of respect. For example, filial piety, respecting your family, your elders. But his teachings goes beyond that. It's talking about more than just respecting other people, but also other th things, and even intangible things, like culture, ethnicity, history even. So another example is Dark Knight. The Dark Knight arguably one of the greatest superhero films of all time, but it was banned in China. Not because they think the crazy clown will incite crazy people to do crazy things, but because of this guy. This one Chinese character in there. Because of him being an evil, being a villain, and being portrayed in a negative and unflattering manner, Chinese people consider it as cultural insensitivity. They consider it as disrespectful towards the Chinese people and towards Chinese history and towards Chinese culture. And as a consequence, the movie was banned in China. And because of that, I had to take a two-hour train to Hong Kong just so I can watch it. <coughs> so back to Back to the Future. Why was Back to the Future banned? And more importantly, why was time travel banned? Because of the taboo, but why? <coughs> we, I'm sure you're thinking of Confucius, but which, what, 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 he, when did he ever mention about time travel? I don't think any of the teachings talking about how time travel could be dangerous. Any guesses, though? It's close. According to the Chinese government, it's about respect again. The idea of time travel, or movies containing time travel, often shows that people going back to time, altering things in the past, <clears throat> frequently with little to no consequences, and even sometimes it caused a positive outcome, a better outcome. You think the Chinese government believes that showing time travel, showing movies, these movies with time travel, promotes an idea that you can disrespect history. You can uh, promote a frivolous idea, frivolous attitudes towards history and historic accuracy. So because of that, they decided to ban all things time travel. So if you think this is a little bit too repressive, feel free to rebel with me by watching Back to the Future. Thank you.